so hey guys what's going on today i'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can record videos using obs broadcast software open broadcast software so you're going to go ahead and download the software open broadcast software the link will be in the description down below it's obsproject.com then once you install it this is actually the newer version so people like me i got confused in the beginning but then i figured it out how uh, the new version works so you want to go ahead and add a scene but before we do that, and before we get into that, we're going to go into the settings. We're going to make sure all the settings match as mine. I just keep most of the stuff as default. I don't change too many things. Most times I probably spend it on hockey, but uh, we mostly keep um, stuff on here. We're just going to change it to YouTube, if depending on what kind of video you're doing. Uh, we're going to leave it on the primary YouTube. You can change it to anything, Facebook Live, anything you're doing. Then in the output, I usually leave the video bitrate at 2,500. Uh, then we, and then in the recording section at the bottom under streaming, there is a recording tab, of course. And here you can choose where you want to save your recording. So I'm gonna not, I'm just not gonna save it in videos. I'm gonna make a new folder and save it in that folder. So we're gonna name the folder OBS Recordings. And we're going to select that folder to save all our OBS videos in. Then you can use the recording quality better or the same. I usually keep it the same. Then make sure in the recording format you do MP4. Before I did uh, FLW and oh my god I had to download a um, VCL media player and that, that isn't really good. So next we have audio. I usually just keep the same stuff video same. Then we move on to hockey. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out all these real quick. So here you can choose the hockeys you want to do for um, your start streaming, stop streaming. Uh, I would have done for, um, I did F7 start, and then to stop I did F7 as well, but I didn't work, so I, I mean, what am I saying? Okay, so I did that, and then for the start recording and stop recording, I would have done F9 and F10, the same settings as my Camtasia, which I was using to record this video. But I couldn't do that because it would have interfered with my Camtasia. I would have stopped the recording before I wanted it to stop. So we're going to go ahead. And I think I'm just going to do like a random number. See, this is why I just checked if my Camtasia was recording or not. Because if I typed in F10, the recording would have stopped. Uh, here, I'm just going to put Control c and Control v But then I realized that I sometimes use that in my, um, in my videos. Like I copy and paste stuff, right? So we're just going to use like a number for this. Let's just do 9, I think. And, and one, I don't, I don't know. So we're gonna do, and you wanna make sure when you're clearing something, you have to click the clear button. You can't do um, backspace, cause then that'll, it'll think of that as your hockey. I did that so many times. So we're gonna do number nine and number one. Then you can click, you can change any desktop audio, all that stuff, but I don't really need that. So then you click on apply, okay. And here we have it. Uh, I'm gonna go back into settings, and here in the advanced tab, you can leave everything the same that I have here. You don't have to change it, but if you wanna mess around, go right ahead. Then you wanna go ahead and add a scene, so you can either right click on it, click on add, or click on the plus button in the corner. I'm just gonna name it, let's see, I don't even know how to name it. We're gonna name it Tutorials uh, with Facecam, because uh, I'm gonna show sure you guys how you guys can add a Facecam in this video right now. And we're gonna do reaction videos, it's gonna be a separate scene. So you guys can add as many scenes as you like to make to um, do with your specific requirements. So let's say you want a tutorial video, you can have one scene that's just a tutorial video. Then next you click on the sources, click on plus, or you can uh, right click on it and click on add. We're going to add a display capture first, and this is going to be your PC, your actual screen. So I'm going to name it monitor. Uh, monitor capture because it's actually capturing my uh, screen so here we go it gives you a preview you can uncheck capture cursor if you'd like and you won't see the mouse but it's all right I like the mouse because sometimes when you're doing a tutorial you need the mouse right then we're gonna go ahead and add our face cams you're gonna right click add go to video capture device click on ok and then here you can uh, choose your webcam whichever one you have I just went with the average one that's on my computer and here we have, I just covered it because I don't want to show my face right now. <laughs> so here, and you can make your face cam icon s smaller or larger depending on what size you want it to be, how much of the video space you want to cover. 
and you can go ahead and turn on the mic audio so as you can see I'm talking right now and it is going all the way up when I'm talking and make sure the desktop audio is on if you're making a reaction video because you want them to hear the actual audio in the YouTube video that you're reacting to uh, then you can click on start streaming but for some reason mine is already streaming so then you can click on start recording to start the recording and in the corner there's going to be the time and I just clicked on stop recording to see recording file to show recording and it'll open up the folder and here now that we saved it as an mp4 file it is now perfect in an mp4 format hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as you can see this is a play and i'll see you guys in the next video peace